This meeting is being recorded. Guys, uh, today we will understand um, how to submit the catalog item from the record producer. So guys, a uh, record producer is something that which is used to, um, you know, submit the task based records. Like if you want to uh, create an incident record, problem record, change record, or any other table record when you submit the form. So when you submit the form, if you want to create a record such as incident, problem, change, or any other table records, you can actually use record producers to uh, create the records when you submit the form. So guys, here my requirement is whenever you submit the um, record producer, it has to submit the catalog item. See, we have two different concepts, right? We have record producers, we have catalog items. So we will be submitting the record producer separately. We'll be submitting a catalog items separately. Here, the requirement is whenever you submit the record producer, here we will have to submit the catalog item. So from the record producer, you will have to submit the catalog item. So how we have done, we will actually um, take a look at. So let me just open the record producer. This is the record producer that I have actually created. Well, my internet is taking too much time. Yeah, so this is the record producer that I have actually created, guys. See, guys, here I have actually selected catalog item, um, you know, uh, table here. So guys, uh, here, uh, what am I doing here is, as I have selected by default, it will try to create a record on catalog item table. So, and um, here, what I have done is, I have actually created the variables here. I have used one variable set as well. So I have created variables. So guys, <clears throat> In the record producer, in the record producer, we can actually do the field mapping. So when you open this one here, when you open this one here, variable. So in the variable, we can actually do the field mapping. Here, I did not do any field mapping here. I did not use uh, this uh, map to field checkbox because I want to use scripting part. Okay, I want to use scripting part. So guys, here, what am I doing is, I am actually submitting the catalog item through the card here, whatever the card ID that you have got, right, that you're actually passing it to the card API. Okay, so for that, CCID. Okay, you have actually passed the catalog item CCID here. And these are all the variables that are actually the, um, uh, these are all actually the variables of uh, the catalog item. So here guys, cart dot set variable, this item, and uh, the variable name is this one. And here, I'm actually passing the value from our record producer. Our record producer values can be accessed using producer dot record producer variable name. So we all know, right? So if you want to access the, uh, record producer variable values, we will have to use producer object. So you are actually using producer dot requested for means, you will actually get the value of requested for value. So the, the value of requested for, you are actually passing it to the catalog item requested for. The value of requested by, you are actually passing it to the record producer, you are actually passing the record producer's request by to catalog item requested by. You're actually passing the email of a record producer to catalog item email. So all the details you are actually passing from record producer to catalog item and you are actually ordering the catalog item here guys. So guys, it will actually create two catalog items to, 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 to stop or two catalog items creation. We'll have to, um, you know, use uh, current dot set about action group. what exactly it does is that so it will actually stop the catalog item creation which is actually being created from here see as you have already selected catalog item here right so by default it create one so using the script using the script that you have written right 
using this one it will actually create one so so when you submit the record producer right it will try to create two catalog items so i am actually stopping one catalog item using current dot set about action true so guys this script i am going to give it in the description you guys can actually find it in the description and um, so let me just quickly give a try guys okay the catalog item that i have taken uh, here is this cid belongs to this catalog item see this one order lenovo laptop okay so this catalog item this catalog item is submitted from record producer this catalog item is actually submitted from this record producer so i am going to this record producer so i am going to try it now okay so here in the requested by ucs Infotech email. The consultancy services fifty three at the rate email dot com. Okay, six three zero double four double two double four double two three five eight. So guys. Here you can actually keep my number as well. Okay, so number of items I'm keeping uh, here as six, model as thirty-two, and seven. Test, okay. guys. So when you submit this one, when you submit this record producer, what exactly will happen is that the script that you have written in this right, the script that you have written the written in the record producer right. So, which is actually this one? Where is it? Yeah. So, the script that you have written here, right? This this will be executed. So, here what are we doing? We are actually generating the cart. So, for that cart, we are actually adding catalog item. So, this catalog item is actually this catalog item CCD. So, you are actually adding this catalog item CCD, and you are actually filling in the variables from the record producer. Record producer variable values can be accessed using producer dot variable name, and then you are actually placing the order, and you are actually stopping the record uh, uh, catalog item record creation. That is actually from this table. So I am actually stopping the catalog item creation. So guys, let me avoid the confusion. This line of script, this line of script will create one catalog item. Okay, and By default, as you have selected one uh, the table right catalog item table, so because of which it will actually create one one catalog item. So I want to stop one catalog item uh, creation. That is why I have actually used current dot set about action true. Okay, so now I am going to submit this one. Once I have submitted this one, the script will be run. The script will be run. It will actually submit the catalog item. yeah so now if we go to the uh, uh, ritm table if we go to the ritm table sc underscore req underscore item dot list now you guys can see the uh, um, record that is actually submitted see just now just now a ritm is actually created you guys can now see how the ritm is created see item is actually order lenovo laptop see here whatever the details that we have specified so requested for email and mobile number so mobile number got uh, um, something uh, it has it hasn't come uh, automatically guys so ucs infotech has come number of items and select the model and uh, uh, laptop generation and comments all the values got automatically populated and then it has created uh, the catalog item so it has created the catalog item and once the catalog item is submitted and uh, it will be actually create a request under the request request item will get created as we all know the uh, rest of the steps right so in this session so you guys have seen 
how to submit the catalog item from the record producer okay so that is what we have actually seen here in this uh, uh, script so try to understand the script clearly guys so use this script whenever you want to submit the catalog item through the script so it can be used in any server side script it can be used in the inbound email actions it can be used in the workflows it can be used in the uh, flow designer so so guys it can be used in the any server side scripting remember okay 